practice and it is raining today as forecasted. We actually had a 100% chance of rain today and we're supposed to get several inches. So a lot of rain coming down today. But I'm able to work here in the greenhouse because we have everything in here, saws, uh, and also all of our lumber. And what I'm focusing on is all this kind of stuff. The weird stuff that I kind of put off because it's weird and time consuming. And I'm putting all that in today. So let's kind of go around. There's a bunch of different locations that I'm going to and I'm gonna just gently carry you around. I'm not pull that crap I did earlier in the series where I spin you around. I'm definitely not gonna do that. And by that, I'm, at this point, you probably think I'm definitely going to do it. But no, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, so uh, this piece here is for in the bathroom. And let me set you down right here near the skeleton. Uh, this one goes up right up here. Let's see how I did. Yeah, that looks like that's going to... That's going to work out in there. So I just have to tap that in and, uh, and then I can finish working up this wall. Also going on today are uh, boards up in River's room. And I want to show you that because River's room is one of the few rooms that's actually finished. Uh, I've got these, uh, they've got some seal on them and uh, I've got them drying over the wood stove. This one seems pretty good. Let's bring it upstairs. As we go up, uh, you're going to get a chance to kind of see a lot of what I'm doing today, which is walking up and down stairs. Um, there's no, no real way around it, because <laughs> I want to keep the saws outside. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot of going up and down stairs today. Before we hop into River's room, though, and show you what I'm doing in there, uh, we'll pop over into this temporary storage room. And you can see we are definitely starting to fill this place up. On your left is all of our food, on the right is all the non-food stuff, and uh, you know, every day I come over here, I'm carrying more things with me. This pile of bags, incidentally, is my uh, modular bug-out bag system. Every bag has kind of a different purpose. There's a food bag, there's a bedding bag, there's kind of a shelter bag. One of them is a, uh, uh, like camping supplies, you know, knives, shovels, things like that bag. Kind of a neat system if you ever need to bug out not plan on putting it all in one bag. All right, so here we go. Inside here is River's room, and this is, uh... Okay, so I, I just cut the camera there because in the first take, I didn't make it all the way through, so I want to make sure that I explain to you what's going on up here, because this is actually the thing that I'm most excited about today, uh, and it is boarding up, creating this false ceiling here uh, in this area. This is the actual ceiling, and then I'm taking these boards here, and making this uh, secondary false ceiling. And um, this is serving a bunch of different purposes. Uh, one of them is that it's covering up this uh, vent pipe for the septic system. I don't know if you technically need to have that covered up, but it's ugly, wanted to cover it up. Also, it is covering up wires that are kind of running over to the smoke detector up here. Uh, originally, the smoke detector was gonna be on the actual ceiling and we were just gonna put a little box around the, uh, the vent pipe. Uh, but based on where the vent pipe had to go through the roof because of the rib structure up in the roof, uh, it had to get too close to the smoke detector so the smoke detector couldn't be where we wanted it to be because when you're putting a smoke detector on a ceiling, it can't be too close to things on the side. And the idea is if you have a smoke detector here and the smoke's coming up, uh, if the smoke detector is too close to an obstruction, there'll be a little, little eddy of clean air and the smoke will kind of tend to go around it. So you need to have smoke detectors one foot away from anything on the sides and we were going to be too close with the box that was going to go around this. So uh, I decided to just uh, resealing this entire bay, bring the smoke detector down so it's a nice unimpeded uh, you know, view of the smoke, if you want to put it that way. But the third reason, and the most uh, exciting one from my perspective, is that this is going to be used as an air passage, like kind of a, a, um, an air vent. Uh, if you recall, throughout the whole series, uh, I've been talking about how I have these tunnels under the floor, and they're grabbing warm air from up here, pumping it down all the way down to the floor, and uh, you know, running it under the floor vents. That takes the uh, maybe uncomfortably hot air that's up here from the wood stove and pumps it down under the floor, makes the floor warm, makes upstairs co uh, cool, makes the whole house just uh, a more homogeneous temperature, a more comfortable temperature for everyone. But there's a lie kind of in that, that motion I just did where it grabs it from here and then throws it downstairs. That's not actually what's happening right now. It's more 
Uh, the vent is at this level, <laughs> coming up through the wall, so it more grabs from here and throws down uh, uh, all the way to the bottom. So from here up, none of this air is really getting grabbed, and that's not good because <laughs> this is where all the hot air goes. It goes, you know, it rises up to the ceiling. So what uh, we're going to be doing is uh, grabbing from the vent that uh, goes up the wall and comes into the closet here. We're going to run that with a channel up to this board here, make some holes in this board, and then as we continue this boarding all the way down to here, uh, we're uh, going to throw a register way up at the top up there, and that, what that will do is it'll be like a straw and really grab all the way from the top, so we are getting the absolute hottest, most humid air in the house, and then pulling that and throwing that down through the floor. I might put a dehumidifier, I mentioned humidity being up there, I might put a humidifier, a, a dehumidifier, I'm sorry, in line in there, so as we grab the stuff, it can maybe get dehumidified, and then uh, you know continue on its journey down into the floor. Uh, but this is the first step in it. I'm excited about this because this is really going to improve the quality of the uh, temperature throughout the entire house. That's it. Thanks for watching.